Raheem Mostert, uh, he may never play another game with the 49ers. He's going through a dark time right now. And uh, we want to give him some support. Sybilla, would you like to start? Absolutely. Uh, the first thing I have to say is, is no one is more devastated about this injury than the Mostert family and Mostert himself. Raheem is, is he's a competitor. He, he has swag on the field. He, he cares about being a 49er. And I don't think for one second he forgets we are the ones who gave him a chance. So he is very much a part of this team. And to read and some of the, the, the comments and read that moving letter that his wife put out there asking people to just back off and stop sending so many mean messages, that's disturbing. Yeah. Grow up, people. Seriously. I mean, Raheem did not go out there and say, I'm going to play two snaps this season and end my season and say goodbye to the Super Bowl for my, for my own participation, regardless of what the team can do. I, for one second, do not think the season is over, despite the two devastating injuries we took. But Raheem, is, he deserves a lot more support. And back off his family. Seriously. That is unconscionable unmanly behavior and your fantasy football team i honestly i don't care yeah i but i do care about raheem see that's what i was gonna say what i don't understand is raheem is taking all this heat and like jason Verrett isn't why is one person a, a bad irresponsible because he got injured but another person is like a hero because he got injured i mean they're football players they're all heroes in the fact that they're putting their bodies on the line and they're all going to get injured and i don't see how you can get mad at a guy for getting hurt playing football. No one's mad at Jason Verrett. And I think that's what I'm trying to say is I think it's a fantasy football thing. I drafted you in the third round. You ruined my team. Like, sh stop playing fantasy football. How about that? That's your fault for playing fantasy football. I don't play fantasy football. Yeah, and saying. honestly, I mean, that's the least of my concerns. Yes. I, I, I don't care about fantasy football. I care about Super Bowls. Yeah, I don't play And, and, and I, honestly, uh, before the Super Bowl, I, I actually do care about who we have on this team. And yeah. Raheem, to me, represents what it is to be a 49er. I really believe that. He is such a good person. And it seems like he has such a great family as well. And my, my hat is off to his wife for standing her ground because I know what this is like. You know, I, I model for major companies. You know, I, I do, you know, macro influencing and things like that. I see some of these messages as well. And it's just from misanthropic, hilotic minds. Yeah. Simple as that. And I don't think this represents the 49er fan base. The majority of us, no. we care. And I, I So please, Raheem, that. stay. I'll always uh, remember <clears throat> Raheem Mostert era fondly. In, in my opinion, he's as good as any running back I've ever seen on this team. He just couldn't stay healthy that long. Like He's like a baseball player who played 500 games in his career and batted 390. You know? like He was great, but he just couldn't – his body couldn't keep it going. Or at least it hasn't now. Maybe he'll have – a long uh, stretch in his 30s. I hope he does because he's such a good running back. Well, I actually have hope for him. And I think the reason I, I feel this way is because the surgery that he will have is something he has not had. Mm. And I feel because he, he was a practice squad player. I mean, he kind of made his, his name as a reject special teams ace. And right. then people started realizing, wow, he is a heck of a gunner. So let's s design some place for him. And he got some snaps because of who we had on the team. So a lot of things had to go right for him to have this opportunity with San Francisco. And once he got it, I feel the pressure was on him to provide us with results. And I think he probably played through some seasons where he should have already had this surgery. Yeah. I'm thinking this surgery may have, should have taken place two years ago. Probably. The fact that he came into training camp this year wearing a huge brace on his knee in retrospect, not a good sign. No. Not a good sign. I've had knee injuries and I've never fought, never trained with a knee brace. Yeah. I don't live with a knee brace. Yeah. Can only imagine what that would do. Exactly. Okay. All right. So Raheem, you know, if if he can get healthy and they can bring him back at a reasonable rate, I'm in I'm I'm all for it. And I Me wonder too. I don't, the, I don't the think the ceiling is so expensive. high. Absolutely. And I and he doesn't have well, he has an injury history, he doesn't have much tread on his tires. And uh he could he might not be too expensive. You might be able to get him for a million dollars. Just saying. 